Cooper, tell, so, tell well, us. Thank yeah, you want to go direct to. Hmm? Tell us about the assets that you're keeping. I mean, obviously, you turned a single Australian newspaper uh, into one of the world's largest news empires. You're keeping Fox News, Fox Business, uh, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Post. What is your vision for this new company uh, in terms of what's left after selling the entertainment assets? Well, it's going to have a cash flow. The, 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 new, the new Fox, uh, which does not include Wall Street Journal, that's News Corporation. All the newspapers are a news corporation, okay. a separate sort of $10 billion company. Uh, this is what came out of 21st Century Fox. Um, the new Fox um, will have Fox News, Fox Business, uh, Fox Broadcasting, Fox Sports. But the point is, it'll have a cash flow of at least $2 billion a year after everything. So, you know, we can see expanding that and taking other opportunities and Building another great company there. You know, in terms of building another great company, you say that people are watching media differently. News is is completely a different animal because it's live. It's happening now. Was that part of your thinking in terms of keeping the news assets? Yeah, that's it exactly. And of course, sport. They watch sport in real time. Exactly. And while they're watching sport in real time, you've got all of these technology companies trying to get a piece of the action, right? Amazon bidding for sports. You've got Netflix. Uh, budget alone will be north of $7 billion next year. Is content king once again, Rupert? Oh, yeah, but neither of those are in sport. The one that's coming at sport is Facebook. Uh, they unsuccessfully bid just for the digital rights of half the Indian cricket for $600 billion. So that was a warning shot, you know, and they've announced now they're going to spend billions on sports rights. So we don't know which country they'll go after or what they'll do. Would you, would you consider combining News Corp and the remaining assets at Fox, the news assets? Um, I don't know. I mean, ideally, yes, but it's, I think that's years away. We'll yeah. have to think about it. Yeah, because when you look at the media landscape changing, yeah, that's obvious. But even more obvious is what digital has done to the newspaper business, right? Well, digital has hollowed out newspaper advertising completely. Not a newspaper in the world that um, hasn't lost about 70% of its advertising. So you get cover price rises, you get digital subscriptions. The papers like the Wall Street Journal are just life and death. So, so how well, did... Um, yeah. Claim. How does the advertising uh, landscape change? I mean, Google, Facebook keep siphoning off advertising dollars, consumers cutting the cord at an accelerating rate. Even Disney lost 12 million ESPN subs over the last few years. What's your vision in terms of how the advertising backdrop changes in the coming years? Well, I'm less and less worried about cutting the cord. Um, it is going at a rate, but we have, you know, uh, things like uh, YouTube Live, uh, which uh, Fox News, Fox Business is on, uh, in a package worth $35. It was about 50 channels. And then we have Hulu, uh, the new Hulu, the Hulu Extra, whatever we call it, with probably another 50 channels for $39. You've got Direct uh, Now, Little Direct Go. It's now over a million subscribers. These three services alone are growing very fast. Uh, and they're almost replacing the court cutters. At the speed of the new cord cutters. So is it they will catch that. So is part of the reason here is because things are changing so much that scale wins at the end of the day? I mean, when you look at these entertainment assets, look ten years down the road, do you think they will be lower valued than where they are today, given the changes in consumer habits? No, I think well, some yes, some no. I think as far as uh, news and sports It'll be always be preeminent and strong. Uh, I think that uh, with, uh, with with going direct to consumer, if you're big enough and strong enough, and you're global, which Disney will now become. The big thing about this is this gives uh, Disney a huge uh, footprint across Europe and India, which they don't have now. Yeah. So, uh, I would be very optimistic about the future of Disney. L yeah, let's talk about the India business, Rupert, because a lot of people were saying that's one of the, ground, the crown jewels that Disney really wanted, uh, which, of course, you built. And when you look across the globe, that's a different scenario. They're in a different growth period than where we are in the United States. How would you predict growth 
uh, occurs in the coming years when you look at a place like India and Europe, which is way behind where the U.S. is in terms of uh, this growth story? Uh, yes, I think, well, you know, Fox, uh, Sky is growing very well, both in Britain and in Germany and uh, in, in Italy. They've got good businesses. It's all one company, and now they can go over the top into other countries like Spain. Uh, in, in India, of course, it's even earlier. Uh, it's a vast country. Uh, we're there in, I don't know, seven or eight of the nine languages. Uh, we, have, um, we have an interest in a satellite company there with over 12 and a half million customers. Uh, all in all, India this year, from nothing, a few years ago, will make half a million dollars. And we're very confident within three years that will go to a billion dollars. Wow. That all, it'll all be to Disney's account. So, so size up the landscape for us now. With, with Disney owning the entertainment assets, that's obviously a juggernaut there. But you've got Amazon in the wings. You've got Apple. You've got uh, others, Google, trying to buy content and, and, and paying up billions for it. Size up the con competitive landscape when it comes to entertainment assets, Rupert. Well, they're huge companies with not much cost of capital, if you look at them. Um, I don't know what, how far Amazon wants to go. It's building their basic, because uh, of their prime thing, leaves it there. I think Facebook coming in and Apple and Netflix are all, you know, going to be big players. All right. How far Netflix will yep. go. When, when Disney pull all their, uh, and, and Fox pull their programs back or stop selling anything to Netflix, It'll be interesting how that affects them. It, it really will. And real quick before you go, Rupert, is there? Do you have the new name of the new company now? It'll be Fox. Fox. I think we may, we may have to call it the new Fox. New uh, Fox. <laughs> great, Rupert. Great to talk with you. Thanks so much for walking us through it. Thank you, Maria. Good luck. Okay, we will see you soon. Rupert Murdoch joining me there.